why smart men struggle with women. So a study came out a while ago that said that if you are a man who has an IQ above 130, you are three to five times less likely to get laid as a guy who has an IQ below 100. Now, some of you might hear this and you might be surprised by this. I personally wasn't surprised. And I think there's a lot of people watching this who won't be surprised by that fact either, okay? Because I work with a lot of smart people. Dude, I work with guys who are like PhDs. I work with guys who are associates at their firm. I work with guys who are like computer scientists, researchers in a lab. You know, these are guys who do really great work, but they all tend to have problems when it comes to women, you know, when they're in this very technical field, you know, getting out into the, you know, the social world, the, uh, the man-woman world, it can be a little confusing and sometimes it can not make sense, okay? Uh, but what I'm gonna be doing in this video is talking about why guys struggle and the main point of this is to give you solutions. So we're gonna go over a series of solutions so you can start doing better with women. So if you're a smart person watching this, thing one is to start learning how to have fun, okay? There's a lot of guys out there that I know that are very smart who are good at getting things done. They are good at their job, they are good at their career, and they spent so long doing that that they've forgotten how to have a good time. I know myself, dude, if I've been working all week and then I have to go to a party, sometimes like I can't even get into party mode because I'm thinking about work or you know I'm just in that let's get done stage and everything feels like a waste of time to me. But what you have to understand is that if you're gonna go on a date with a woman, she's going to want to have fun. That's one of the things that she's gonna to judge the date on. If she meets you, she's gonna judge on how she feels when you guys start talking to each other. So if you're in work mode constantly, that's not gonna be fun for her. So learning how to have fun is a huge skill. Now look, if you've been working all week, I get it. It can be tough to get into that kind of social, fun, silly mode. So what you wanna do is play a little bit of comedy or put yourself in a position where you're joking with somebody. I myself, I like to listen to like conversational comedy or like a podcast or something where people are just kind of riffing back and forth. It gets me into that kind of social silly mode, you know, where I can just start having fun with people, okay, in a conversation. Learning how to have fun is a skill within itself. So learning how to have a good time, that is something that you can work on and get better at. And you can get better at it very fast. And trust me, like in life, you wanna learn how to have a good time, okay? What's the point of living if you're just gonna be working and trying to get ahead all the time? You gotta learn to be able to enjoy the moment, learn to be a fun person to be around. Thing two is gonna be to work on your emotional intelligence, okay? Women want a guy who is understanding of other people's emotions because they're very emotional beings, okay? They make decisions based off of feelings, not based off of logic and reasoning. You can't logic or math your way, you know, into dating somebody. She's gonna base it off of the way she feels around you. And if your emotional intelligence is higher, you're gonna be able to facilitate that a lot better. So one of the things that I recommend that guys do if they are gonna work on that is spend more time with with people, spend more time focusing on interactions, focus on what they can do to make themselves feel better because if they focus on that, then they'll learn how to make other people feel good as well too. So take all those things into account and you're gonna be a lot more charismatic when you talk to people. Number three is gonna to be to reduce overthinking. Dude, smart guys overthink way too much, all right? You know, if they have to approach a woman, they're thinking about all the YouTube videos they've seen, all the techniques they could do, and by the time they're done with all their thoughts, the guy with an 80 IQ has already walked up and started talking to her and gotten her phone number, right? So you wanna be a guy who's taking action rather than a guy who has paralysis by analysis. So the way to get out of your own head is to start by doing small things that you can start doing now now without having to think too hard about it, right? If you see a woman that you like to approach over there, rather than like thinking about the creative way to do it, why don't you just talk to the person next to you? Say hi, get yourself into that social mode, and then work from there. If you get in the habit of starting to do things, the likelihood that you're gonna overthink stuff is gonna be a lot less. Now there's other techniques that we can use about how to control your thoughts, but that's a great one to start with, okay? You wanna get yourself as close as you can to the flow state where you're just doing, you're not thinking. Number four is to learn to talk to women in a way that excites you. Look, one of the things I've noticed about smart people is that most conversations bore them. I'd say 99% of the time they are bored, they are uninterested in the things that people talk 
talk about, whether it's the Kardashians, whether it's you know, what was on Monday Night Football, or whether it's small talk, you know, same conversations that you've had a million times, right? But the problem with this, though, is that if you want to have those deep conversations, those intellectually stimulating conversations that most smart people crave, um, that's not the thing that actually works right from the get-go, okay? You really don't want to be having those things at the beginning. It's going to, you know, alienate a lot of women because women at the beginning, what are they looking for? They're looking for fun. They're looking to feel something, right? Even the women who say they love deep conversations, that's not going to get their emotional circuits turning. Yeah, sure, they might intellectually like that, but you have to get the emotional side of them. I don't care how smart a woman is or how much she says she loves deep conversations, she wants to feel like she's attracted to you first and then you can go into that stuff later. So from there, um, we've gotta find ways that will excite you. Look, I can talk to women about anything, any type of conversation, and I can find stuff to learn about it. I can find ways it relates to my life. I can find ways that it's actually like interesting to me. You don't have to talk about the content so much, but the way people talk about it and why they talk about it can get very interesting to you. So there is a whole technique behind this. And if you focus too much on whether you like the conversation or not, rather than trying to find a way to make it interesting for you, um, then it can be quite a challenge, okay? So I invite you to do that the next time you're talking to somebody. I have a whole like step-by-step -step process for learning to make conversations interesting which was a big thing for me because you know it took me a while for me to be able to uh, enjoy most conversations that I was having because I got bored very easily step five is to lose the ego a lot of smart people have worked hard in what they've been trying to do and they're good at it they've made a career out of themselves and a lot of them just expect you know the woman to fall into their lap after that and unfortunately that's not the way it works look you've spent a lot of time doing something for your career but there are other skills as we've covered that are necessary to be able to get a woman to like you and so from there if you just expect a woman to come to you it prevents you from doing the things that are actually going to be able to do it don't get me wrong being a smart guy intelligence is one of the top qualities that women look for the problem is the execution in it, okay? They, they're not able to see his intelligence because they don't even give him a chance, right? So you wanna lose the ego. You have to start doing things, including like maybe talking to or approaching people or meeting people um, rather than just expecting them to come to you. So if we lose a little bit of the ego and recognize that, hey, I've built skills in one area, I need to build skills in a new area to be able to be successful here, then I can be even more successful in the people who I consider to be not quite as smart as me but are doing better than me. So this is one thing that I think is hugely important. And look, man, if you've been successful in one area, it's not gonna take you very long to get successful at this. I coach guys to be successful with women who are smart, who have had no success before in three to six months, no problem. Number six is gonna be to meet more women that meet your standard or try and adjust the way that you judge people a little bit so you give people more of a chance. I find that smart people can judge people very, very quickly. Maybe they say things that aren't as smart as they'd like for them to be. I mean, look, if I was gonna judge my girlfriend on my own intelligence, I probably wouldn't be very impressed, but my girlfriend is incredibly smart at other things, okay? Stuff that I generally don't think about, and they are very, very important. That's why women and men go together so well is because they complement each other, okay? So try your best not to judge somebody too harshly. The way women, the way other people may think may be different from yours, but it doesn't mean that they're not intelligent, okay? So that's one thing that I'll, that I'll mention. And the second thing is, when it comes to just meeting people who are smarter, if you want someone who's intellectually curious like yourself, being able to find women who are like that is hugely important, but most guys don't know where to go. So learning where to go is gonna really help you out. So guys, those are the six things. Now, if you're a smart guy and you want help with this, I highly recommend that you fill out my coaching form and schedule a call with me. We'll figure out the kinds of things that you're looking to do and we'll figure out how to help you get there. Me as a person who was paid for coaching in my life, I don't think that just because you're smart, you have to do everything yourself or figure out everything yourself. It's much easier to just get someone else to do the heavy lifting for you. And that way you know exactly what to do and you can save time on this. Cool, thanks for watching you guys. Hopefully you got something out of this. Good luck out there.